Go ahead, bro. You're replacing Dave. You got to do the intro. What? Go ahead. What? What's the intro? I don't know. Coming to you live. Pick a place. Get excited. Coming right. at you sideways. <laughs> oh, easy, Winston Cave. Hold on. Uh, Can we use that, or is that like a? It might be trademarked by Winston Cave. Do you think it is? Probably. He's a businessman. He's a boss. Oh, he's a boss. Boss to boss. Well, good thing you're my boss. Here tonight. I don't. Weird. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another truck review video. As you guys know, uh, with Dave being so busy, Wes is being the great stand-in fill-in, possibly replacement. I saw some comments on there that were saying they might have enjoyed. Uh, Dave's a little shorter. Sometimes you got to adjust. I don't know. Figure it out where the microphone Trying to get is. The He's probably mad they're using the gold microphone and that your truck review videos have gotten more views. So Have they? The last one did pretty good. So as always, one of the things we like to do uh, in the YouTube world is uh, check out your guys' trucks. You know, we love trucks. We love to go to truck shows. We love to see what you guys got. And you guys really seem to enjoy us uh, going over your trucks. So Wes, feel free to like take the filter off today and, and do what you got to do. What, what filter? I'm just saying do whatever you got to do, man. You know, just, just feel free. Speak the truth. Um, as always, if you guys want us to review your trucks, uh, all you got to do is send them into my email, dmaxtrino at hotmail.com. Please do not send them in a DM on Instagram or anything like that because it's really hard to transfer over to the computer. So email is the best. Wes, let's jump right in, buddy. We've got a, what year was this? I don't even remember. 2006. 2006. 1500 HD. That there is a gas truck. Wes, what are your thoughts so far, buddy? I like it. I, I do say this is one of my favorite body styles. The cat eye body style uh, mm -hmm. that Chevy put out was, it, it's probably one of their best looking front ends on a truck. Um, they make great lifted trucks. They make great pre runners. They make great really anything. Not a fan of the Nerf bars. I do like the, uh, the, the modern tow mirror that's on there. That is a nice, a nice touch, nice color matching yeah. it too as well. So if you guys don't know, the 1500 HD was a thing. Um, it was Chevy. Basically, it was, everything about it was a 2500, but I think at the time you couldn't get a 2500 with the crew cab. You could only get it with the extended cab. And this was kind of their like more plush version of a 2500, but you get everything beefed up like 1500, but you couldn't get a diesel option or a I might have said that backwards. Whatever. You couldn't get a diesel option. You could get the, it came with the 6.0 gas engine in it, though. Um, I know this. I personally had one. I had a 2005, and uh, I loved that truck. Definitely didn't have the power of a diesel, but, uh, you know, for a 1500, it was kind of a cool option you can get. Looks pretty functional. Um, not a huge fan of the wheel setup, but it, it's, you know. I feel like nice it's a truck. very common wheel. Yeah. And, I mean, kind of the way that Dave really hates the simulated beadlock. Like, I'm not a big black and machine wheel fan. Um, it's never been my thing. I've always tried to find, if I'm going black wheels with the least amount of machining or any type of fake beadlock or anything like that, just my personal taste. Like Wes said, looks functional. You're in the snow. We know you don't want super wide tires. So I, I totally understand keeping everything inside the wheel wells as well. That way you're not uh, thrashing your truck. It looks really clean for a truck that is uh, kept in the snow. That's uh, it's not easy to do. Yeah, what what state is the plate on? What is it? What does it say? Uh, that looks like a. I'm gonna try and zoom in here, but then I'm totally gonna screw us on being able to. That's a Minnesota, Minnesota. plate. Now that I done this, I lost uh, his email. Wes really wanted to know where that license plate was. Well, not not just that. I was gonna read the. Description I know, but now we it. lost the description. So I know he's got boost mirrors on there. He's yeah, got a dude. Diablo Sport tuner. Um, couple other things. Like like you said, a functional truck. I think it's a clean truck. What would you? He, yeah, I think he said he had Bilstein shocks. Uh, level probably leveling keys. What would you rate this truck, Wes? I, I would drive it. I think it'd be a nice little, you know, farm truck or, uh, you know, out in the field or something. I, I, I give it like a 6.5. All right, 6.5. Not bad, not bad. What are you, you going to give it? Oh, no, I got to rate him? Yeah, we're going to both rate him. We're going to. I'd rate that probably about a 6. I just wish it was bigger. That's all. Speaking of uh, farm trucks, this one, uh, let's see. He bought this truck for 500 bucks. It had holes rusted through the body and the engine that needed a ton of work. This is the current phase of build after two years. Well, for uh, $500, I don't know what you put back into it, but that's a pretty clean looking truck for 500 bucks. Well, I'm sure he has quite a bit more than that in now. Right. I'm sure that bumper costs more than 500 bucks. Probably. And it's got a winch on it. Ooh. Everybody says we need one. You going to put one on your truck? I think Dave would give this a 10. Dave just loves just a good winch. winch. Yeah. yeah. Well, I see that stirrup step there. Oh, is he God. from is he from texas i've never been a fan of i mean you guys can see the little little stirrup single step there like of for the era of the truck it is correct they were big back uh in that time frame 
It's just never, never been my cup of tea. I'm assuming all the rust was on the lower portion of the truck there, which is why he probably, I don't know, I'm going to guess maybe didn't repaint the truck. Looks like bo- uh, bed liner. Yeah, maybe. but bed line, yeah. repaired the bottom, bed lined it instead of actually painting it. Um, I could be completely wrong about that. Bumper's a little big, in my opinion, uh, even for like ranch farm style of truck. I just, it's kind of got a goofy smile shape to it. Like a ranch hand bumper's a lot squarer. I would think it would look better. Yeah, those, I don't, those lights, man. They're, are those eyeballs like? I weirdly am a big fan of like the old. I like school, the Casey. Yeah, like, but, but like the upgraded some, version. Yeah, that that I don't know what that is. There is a lot of. It's a mixed style. So like back in the day, the pre runner days, a lot of the pre runner guys had a pre run bumper that had two big lights on front. Like we're talking like late nineties, early two thousands out in the desert. You'd see that on there. Um, this is has like a, it's like a ranch hand mixed pre runner style bumper going on. Little funky, a little funky, but at the end of the day, he probably has deer he has to watch out for, whereas we don't. So yeah, could have, well, could have brought him along in the snow. He could have ran those trees over for us. Yeah, right. Exactly. What would you rate this truck, Wes? I give it a five. It's a, it's a, just from like a. I feel like it's a, probably a really functional truck. Like I will say, I, I can appreciate the amount of work that went into it. I can appreciate the fact that you bought it for five hundred bucks. I would like to know how much you're into it, just out of curiosity, but. uh is it a diesel? Is it? That's a good question. It a, it's four wheel drive. It, uh, it looks like it might be gas. That's a small exhaust back there. Yeah, probably the five four. Mm, 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 mm. I dropped mine down. It's like a. I'm back at a four to five, yeah, four and a half. Yeah, that, I go that, four that and a half. Would be a turd to drive. All right, if it's diesel, we apologize, but it, it doesn't look like it. This guy gets a ten just on his description here. <laughs> yeah, we got we got his email. We got it. Let's see, Rhino, you're my favorite YouTuber. My dream truck is a BBB. I respect what you stand for. Work for an apparel brand. I'm a college student, however, I work hard for what I have. 2012 Silverado, definitely nothing close to your beautiful Denali, but it will be there one day. Keep up the amazing work, man. I'm enjoying the studio videos with Dave. Hopefully, you enjoy Wes as well. Uh, there are some nice trucks. Well, let's see what we got here. So we got a 2012 1500. From Texas. From Texas. I mean, any truck flying the American flag has just already gained some points in my book. But, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like we got a whole lot done here. We've got... Got a pro like, comp lift. Yep. Six inch lift. Some looks general... Like some general, general grabbers. grabbers. Yep. And then some rock stars. Well, I think we all are in agreement on the rock stars on, on how we feel about that. It's just... But weirdly, again, for the era of truck, kind of correct... Yeah, I mean, running rock stars on that wouldn't be my first or last choice. <laughs> well, it would be my last choice. Probably, probably, probably last. Yeah. Uh, I like General Grabber tires. I wish they made them bigger. I think they're they're cool. The red riding on the side's cool for like the first month that you own them before it gets all beat up and scuffed up. But I actually liked the look when they first came out. I just like I said, they don't make them in the sizes that I run. Chevy did an all right job with this. They kind of made this truck look more trailblazer ish with the front end and the the solid bar across the front. But these trucks make good looking pre runners. So they do, yeah. What do you think, Wes? Not I mean, a, not a fan of that tow mirror in in particular, but uh, I think it. I think it's a clean truck. I mean, especially for a college student. Yeah, I think uh, you know, there's definitely some some budget parts on there, being the Pro Comp lift, the Rockstar wheels, um, the General Grabber tires. I, I don't know that they're That's super a, budget. No, but they're not budget. Yeah. Either. So, you know, I gotta hand it to them again. We really appreciate living within your means. Yeah. And, uh, you know, don't go finance your lift kit. Don't go finance your wheels and tires. Like, get what you can afford. And then kind of like he said, not I really wish I could, at some, you know, at some point ever have a truck like yours. He's like, nah, like, someday I'm going to have your truck like yours. That's the attitude I like. Wes, rate his truck, buddy. 6.2. <laughs> I'll give it a 5.3. Five, 5.3. Three. Five, three. That's probably what it has. No, nah, it's a little low. I'll give him, I'll give him a 6. <laughs> oh, this one's hot. Yeah, buddy. Wes, do not get burned by the paint job on this bad boy, Wes. And I'm going to apologize right now because we got kind of a, a couple of some funky pictures here. But we got us a... This one's on fire, guys. Another Silverado here. And I feel like if you're driving this one, you're calling it a Silverado <laughs> with this. Uh, I think Chris would really appreciate the flame paint job. It's real reminiscent of what he did on the uh, Mercedes for us. But mm. Wes, what do you think about this bad boy, huh? And I apologize again. Do, do we have a description at all? This one has no description. Yeah, some of these like old email addresses I could tell like really puts an age on the Austin Miller on the owner for I, me. I, I know an Austin Miller. You know, I, I don't think Austin Miller. There's not this Austin Miller. Nah, ain't, that ain't the one. What do you think about the at uh, was that cowl induction hood kind of sort of? What they call that? Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> What's he look intrigued, bro? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm don't touch I'm, it, man. I'm it's a warm it. back here. We got a nice fireplace going on with the the flames. <sighs> I'm not a fan of the this year of truck with the uh, the extended cab, right? Because the suicide rear door. Man, the, I'm just never been a I'm fan. Of, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a fan of this year of this body style period. This is like what? Oh, three. Oh, yeah. This was right before the cat eye. Yeah. Or there's maybe the, even 2001. They're similar, but this body style is all. Oh, it's all one. It's all one. Is he, did he list it in there? Oh, it yeah. It says 01 2500 HD. Oh, it is a 2500. All right. Well, oh, that's right. Okay. So I stand corrected. Got the Dixie pick wheels with the Cooper tires. But the problem again with this body, like for me, this body style just always was a little too round to be a truck, whereas the next. Body style was a little sharper edges on it. Like to me, if you were to guess the age of who drives this, are you are you in the same ballpark? Of me? Like this is an older gentleman. I would say like he, late forties, maybe even fifties. Like he's out in that garage drinking some Bush Light, and man, Keystone, is this something. this is the sickest thing he's ever seen? Ain't hey, nobody gonna believe he put flames on his 01 2500, and like. You could tell by the wheel and tire combo. I think it's really the biggest age giveaway to me. We're probably going to be completely wrong. I'm sure we're going to need a comment being like, nah, man, I'm 16. <laughs> but <laughs> I'd be surprised. To me, I'm, I'm getting like old man drinking some bush light in his, in his he's got, he's, got, he's probably got a nicer shop than I do. But uh, yeah, mm. not my style. Not my style. Wes, rate the truck, buddy. 4.3. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm in the, the the four range on there. All right, so I'm gonna apologize if we already rated this. I've got so many emails. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go back into some of the older emails of trucks that we didn't get to. So if I already rated this truck, well, hey, you get it twice. Wes really liked this truck. He wanted me to click on it. So what? Scroll up, dude. Let's go. I'm trying to see if he has a description. It was all the way at the top. Was the only thing I saw. Yeah, he didn't. That's all he put. Man, we, give us description, a description. Descriptions help. All right, so uh, I don't really know what year we got here, but we'll it's, guess like 2010. Yeah, 10, 11. Something like that. Oh, nine. Uh, 1500, I'm guessing. It looks like a Vortec Max uh, little emblem right there. I could be wrong. We could probably get a better view I of that. I don't know if it's Vortec Max. Is that not what it is? It's some weird. Yeah, I don't logo. know what that is. Anyways. Uh, what's, his, what's his club? Never Satisfied? Never Satisfied. Got a rough country lift. Some TIS uh, wheels on it. Oh, jeez, Wes. Wes, easy guy. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, not, you, I'm not good with no, the you Apple product. Looks uh, like amp tires. Nice nice little grill guard. Lots, I mean, of, lots of light bars on it. He does have a lot of light bars. What I, what I do appreciate, I understand, again, some parts of the country, you got deer you got to worry about. I appreciate that this is kind of a bolt-on accessory to his factory bumper, so it retains. It doesn't jut out from the truck 400 feet. doesn't look like it doesn't fit the truck. Like This was just uh, a brush guard bolted onto the factory bumper. So y it's not as obnoxious, and it's a cleaner look, I think, than some of the crazy bumpers we've seen out there, or as Dave would call them, a masher. He's he's definitely mixing some styles here. He's got the the modern tow mirror. He's got the big wheel, the the stance, the offset, smaller and, tire. Yeah, a little bit of a smaller. It looks like a twenty four fourteen with a thirty five thirteen and a half. I was thinking the on same there. Thing. Then he's got the the toolbox in the back, and then he's got the bumper. So he's like mixing the style with functionality. Right. And uh, I feel like it's hey, kind it of a general all around truck. It caught my yeah. eye. Yeah. I think he's probably from. Uh, Texas or North Carolina or something. Uh, again, uh, not the stereotype. Looks like he's got some aftermarket lights on the uh, the headlight. for headlights, and yep. he's got cube pods in the. Uh, I feel like he he did his best to kind of touch on a lot of stuff. Some people kind of skimp on little details. I feel like he didn't go super heavy into the details, but he touched enough stuff to where, again, like Wes said, he, Wes just saw it in like a little thumbnail as I was scrolling through some pictures. This thing stood out to him. He wanted to talk about this one, so I do give credit. Um, uh, you know, it's it's a clean looking truck. <laughs> Rate this truck, Wes. Eight one. Eight one. Eight one. Eight yeah. one. I'd give it It looks like it's taken care of. It looks like it's in good shape. Everything looks Especially for the year. I, I like when people touch keep a lot their of trucks stuff. clean for that long. I don't know what this badge is. If you if you uh, reach out to us, it doesn't I don't it doesn't fit to me, but all right, I'll give it a uh I'll give it a seven. All right, so we're clicking on this one because it's got a big description. Let's see, here are some pictures of my twenty fourteen Ram fifteen hundred. It's five seven hammy. K&N cold air intake and Diablo tuner, eight speed tranny. It's his daily driver. I know it's not jacked up, but it's two wheel drive. I would like to be in one of your truck reviews on the channel. I'm a big supporter of work for it. I have two of the thin blue line decals on each door and an XL work for decal on the back window. Wes, I give this one a 10. Yeah, uh, that's why That's why I said click on his. It looks like he's got a Punisher. Uh, it, oh, this one's recent. He just got the new sticker. Yeah, that's so the new, new work for is, it. Uh, Dude, looking good, man. Looking. Man. This is all we need to see. We don't even need to see the whole truck. All right. What do we got? Low, got nice low resolution proof. We like high resolution pictures. 
But killboy.com. I don't know what that is. Woo! That is a masher bolted on the front of that bad boy. This guy is wow. in his late 40s. I'm you think guess. so? I'm a guess. A lot of chrome going on. I don't know if I've seen in a long Got time. Got the AutoZone special gas cap there. Right, the lockable, lockable. You might live is in that, that a, part of town. You need a lockable. A, is that a roadrunner or a uh, geese or? <laughs> it looks like a yeah. There's some type of duck emblem or a pterodactyl. Is it a, it's a, a, it's a, ter- it's a I dragon? I don't know. I think it's a dragon. Look right here. That's a pterodactyl. That looks like a dragon, but it looks like it's got a thin it's blue line blue running line, through so it. So this guy's probably a police officer. I don't, is there like a police officer pterodactyl dragon? I don't Savior know. warrior. I'm, we're missing out on that. But I will say, um, if you're gonna go chrome. Go Chrome. Chrome, Chrome. Chrome. yeah. Chrome. I, I do give him credit. Like, he wanted to keep with the Chrome theme, so he decided he was going to get a full polished brush guard on there, which uh, I imagine is not easy to keep clean. Uh, you know, I mean, it look like those are a set of maybe factory-offered wheels back in the in the day. Yeah, they're, those are factory. Uh, he, he added the little Chrome kind of strips on the wheel wells. Got the super sweet wind deflectors over the the windows. I, I actually like those. I had those on a truck, and man, when it rained, you can I could see the functionality the of it. I, I just feel like if uh, it's just never been my cup of tea. But I mean, overall, you know, like I said, I give it a ten. You can't beat having a a work for decal, let alone three. I really appreciate this man's support. He, he also wanted to shout out uh, Wes, Chris, and Dave. He wanted to say what's up. So, oh, all right. Hey, what's up, man? No, no. Now, what's your review, or what do you get? What what grade? What score? what score I'm going to give him? Yeah. I, I like that he supports the movement, and, uh, you know, for that, give him a 10. There you go. Solid 10. It's that easy, guys. Just bribe us with a lot of uh, orders from WorkFordApparel.com. Put it in your picture, and you'll get a solid 10. All right. We'll do one more. we got time for one more here. Highest rated truck of the day right there. Right? Let's bring another Ford in. And uh, I'm already going to I feel bad for this guy because I see California plates on there, so. Uh, I can deal with this. What the heck? Are we, we rate, are we rating the trike or are we rating the, the John Deere lawnmower in the uh, back? I kind of like, I don't know what I like more, the trike or the lawnmower. It's kind of, they're kind of both rad. All right. Well, do we got any description? Um, there we go. Yep. Oh five F two fifty four inch exhaust, mile tune, six inch fab lift. I'm guessing fab tech, uh, 35, 12, five, 18 R grappler, two tires. Uh, we don't know what wheels, but I'm sure we can. What are those? Moto metal, same Moto ones metal. as the first truck. Gotcha. Mo eight seventies, black machine, with the Nitto all terrains. That's why Wes is here. What do you think, buddy? What do you What do you think about this bad boy? Is it California compliant? I sure hope so. Does it cause cancer? I'm sure it does. 2005. Um. Well, that means it's a six O, right? Yeah. Yep. So hopefully it's. Studded or yeah, bulletproof. Yeah, the fact By that you, now, the fact if it's that you, this long, yeah, if I you mean, can keep a six zero running, yeah, we yeah, we do yeah. uh, you I get some extra that. points for that. Yeah, it's not easy. I think it's a cool look. It's a two tone. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's never been my favorite two tone. To me, that grandpa tan. I don't know why Ford did that back in the day, but that's for the cowboys. There was I know a lot of older gentlemen yeah. that uh, owned that two tone truck, or even like when they did that. Like I forget what it's called, like that sand color. I hated that color. Still yeah, hate that color. Really? Well, sorry, snow, because you have that color yeah. on your truck. But uh, I, I just can't stand that color. So at least you got some more white on this truck. Need some new headlights. Those are starting to. Uh, yeah, considering you're putting money into the truck, lifting it, looks like the wheels and tires are pretty new. And you got that lawnmower and that trike. Come get some new headlights on there, man. Right, right. I mean, I, I'd give a cool you a shot. two if you had headlights. You'd give him a two if you had give, Yeah, I'd give him a two if you had Oh, headlights. but now that he doesn't have headlights, what's yeah, he getting? <laughs> Just kidding. He wants to meet up for a for a truck show, so I don't want to piss this guy off. Yeah, he's going to find you, dude. But if he brings that trike, I want to I'm kind of it. intrigued by the trike and, like, the super sweet custom trailer for the trike because clearly that, that that was built for the trike. It looks like a, it's probably the rear end of, like, a Volkswagen. Gotcha. And then a custom uh yeah, send us in there. the track for a review. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> or bring it to us. If you're local, yeah, I want to yeah, ride bring, the bring, track. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wes will ride. It looks like a two-seater. <laughs> Wes can ride on the back. <laughs> I'll ride on the handlebars. <laughs> All right, and bring us the John Deere uh, riding mower there because we'll, we'll soup that bad boy up. I don't know. I think it's clean. Um, one issue, if we can scroll back, that Ford always seems to have is their emblems don't last. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I don't know why that's such a freaking thing. But you can see this one also, like the blue on there has washed out. 
Now you get like a crappy. I think it's from aluminum foil. They, as much as they have to push them, they just wears oh, off. Oh, all the yeah. oil on the hands. Yeah, it just, oh. it just wears them off. <laughs> it's, it's the only thing I could think of. Well, hey, I, I noticed the firefighting helmet mm. in there. Don't think that went unnoticed. So again, thank you uh, for your service to your community. We do appreciate that. I, I can actually see the fire truck right there in the. Uh, oh yeah, right little, in the reflection little, of the bumper. A little weird to do backwards, but he's, squat, he's kneeling down too. Right again, anybody that can keep a six zero running. Uh, you get some points in my book. I don't know. What would you rate this, Wes? I'm going to give it like a six and a half. I'll give it a six zero. Oh, oh <laughs> I see what you did there. All right, guys. Well, with that, I know we did this review a little quicker than we typically do. No, um, let's do one more. Let's give them one We're more. a little pressed for time, Wes. All we got to right, go, right, buddy. Right, we got to right. just stay tuned for tomorrow. Oh, uh, <laughs> actually, do stay tuned because we're going to be reviewing uh, Wes's truck in uh, the next video after this one. So if you guys want a full walk around of that, make sure you guys check that out. And I'm pretty sure he did a burnout in the warehouse. I did. Don't miss it. He told me to do it. It's true. It's true. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you're not missing any future content. Again, if you want to send your truck in, dmaxrhino at hotmail.com. There's a link down in the description on this video. Please send us a description and high quality pictures, not upside down, crazy, whatever. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like, a, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. Wes, I'll let you end the video. Roll the outro. Damn. Yeah.